Hi, I'm Brad with Orbit. In many parts of the country, critters and pests around your yard are a real problem. And if you're like most of us, you've spent time and money making the landscape look the way you want it. Orbit has come out with a revolutionary new product to protect your landscape against unwanted pests and everything else around your landscape. We'd like to introduce to you today the Yard Enforcer by Orbit. This is the Yard Enforcer. The Yard Enforcer is a motion activated sprinkler that combines sound and water to deter animals and critters from your landscape. It features a passive infrared motion sensor for day or night operation and a 120 degree field of view. It has an adjustment knob to adjust the sensor up or down and you can shift it left or right. To get to the battery compartment, loosen the sensor adjustment screw and you can pop the batteries out. This is a waterproof seal on the batteries so you have no leak problems. It features a flow through riser that allows you to connect additional hoses and sprinklers that are all controlled by the valve. So these are all motion activated off the same unit. The latching solenoid valve can be cycled up to 5,000 times on one set of batteries. The Yard Enforcer features a range adjustment to increase or decrease the range of sensitivity, features a duration adjustment to increase or decrease the duration of the sprinkler, and it features a 30 minute time cycle. You can hit this button once and it will activate the sprinkler and shut off after 30 minutes. You can also set the dial into a day, night, or always position, or when you're done using it, set it to the off position. Assembly for the Yard Enforcer is very quick and easy. Let me show you how it goes together. First connect the valve to your spike. Then connect your flow through riser to the valve. Now slide the sensing unit over the top of the riser. Now connect your impact head. And last, don't forget to hook up the valve to the sensing unit. Now that you have your yard enforcer assembled, go ahead and set it up in the area of your yard you would like to protect. We've got ours set up right here in front of this garden. A couple things you'll notice. We've got a hose connected up to it already and we've turned that hose on. A few more things you'll want to do before you're ready to go. Adjust your duration. Now the duration will determine how long the sprinkler waters every time it's activated. So if you don't want the area to get too soggy, go ahead and adjust it down. This can water as little as two cups per watering. So turn it all the way to the, to the uh, minus setting on the duration if you'd like to do less watering. The other thing you'll want to set is the range detection. This is detecting how far out you're going to start picking up animals and things before it activates the sprinkler. The range detection can go up to 40 feet, so keep that in mind when you're positioning the yard enforcer around the yard. We've got our set. We set it to the always setting, which is going to protect day and night with the passive infrared motion sensor. So we've got it ready to go. We'll go ahead and test it out right now. Now we've shown you how the single works. We're going to go ahead and set it up to show you with multiple sprinklers through the flow through stake valve activated, how that works as sort of a minefield operation. We'll go ahead and set that up now. We've removed both of the caps on the riser above the valve. This valve controls the two hoses we've connected up as well. On the ends of the hoses we have impact heads connected for maximum critter coverage. Once this is hooked up you should be able to cover three times the area with just a single yard enforcer. We'll go ahead and activate it just to show you. You can extend the hoses out as far as you need for maximum coverage area. We've got them in closer here today for demonstration purposes. If you've got critters or unwanted animals eating your flowers, eating your garden vegetables, or other plants in your landscape, pick up a yard enforcer today.